Okay, this is the completed ruggedized moisture sensor that's shielded. Uh, we've used a shielded cable. We've also used an adhesive glue lined heat shrink to uh, weatherproof the uh, components in sensitive areas so this will be ruggedized for a long life in the field and it will detract from interference. So you can run this wire uh, pretty long actually, you know, 30 feet or more. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a shielded moisture sensor. The reason you want to shield your moisture sensor if you're running it of any length is it can pick up uh, external RF signals and give you all kinds of whacked out readings. So if you're going to run, you know, I usually I, I recommend more than five feet, then I, I would run a, shield, a shielded sensor. So we've gone ahead and melted off the connector, pulled it off the board, and just hand soldered the shielded wires directly to the PCB board. So we've got the analog signal ground signal and, and positive signal and we've uh, coated the board with a, a clear urethane seal to protect the board and we're going to put a, a glue uh, lined heat shrink around it when we're done but what we've got is we've got the other three uh, wires that we've got to put a connector on and if you can see on the inside of the shielded cable we've also got some foil around what we need to do is we need to solder a ground wire there and ground that and that's what's going to gonna send our interference to ground and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, jumper wire I like to take jumper wires whose um, heads have kind of come off and I'm gonna go ahead and be soldering that right to that and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now now I have my ground wire soldered to the outer uh, shield lining of the shielded wire and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this connector um, I'm gonna go ahead and solder it to these wires and then we're going to seal it all up with adhesive line heat shrink. We're going to put a, a piece here as well as a, a piece here. And then I'll show you. We'll have a nice neat connector when we're done. Alright, I've got all the wires soldered up along with the outer uh, ground wire for the shield wire. Which is right there. We're just going to take that to a ground pin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trim these up and fold them back. Okay, so now I'm ready to apply the adhesive lined uh heat shrink and so I'm just going to go ahead and slide that over real quick and here is the adhesive lined heat shrink applied and now all we have to do is heat it up and we'll be good and with this left piece what you want to be sure to do is just make sure you fold the the connectors backwards so they're not uh, in contact with each other it's okay to have this uh, shield ground and the um, and the analog ground uh, near each other um, you don't have to worry about those touching but um, you want to make sure that the analog and the positive and you know either ground in general aren't touching there um, this one you don't need to worry about it because we coated the board with the urethane seal but this uh, glue uh, is going to further um, protect the uh, electrical components from the elements so let's go ahead and heat it up Okay, this is it all done. Awesome.